Okay, so I want to make a quick note real quick about something that I noticed about uh, a significant difference between the old advanced Ashtanga series and the newer ones. Um, so it, the, close to the very beginning of the advanced B, old advanced B series, you do some hasana and you do it in lotus. And so the leg part of it, you're like this and you're like inhaling here and then exhaling back and inhaling. But the face part of it, what you're doing with your face is you exhale and you like a lion and you're really stretching your tongue down like this and then when you inhale you come back and you're like looking at your nose and you're drawing everything in and so your face is going like that um <clears throat> and that's not in the newer series and one thing i noticed about that is if you do that posture every day for one um it will start to like strengthen and stretch your tongue and it actually is helpful for chanting. Um, my like movement to get my mouth in the right positions for all the different letters is better. And what that does is it vibrates your soft palate, like the way you're sending air through your mouth, being able to articulate all those um, different movements of the tongue. It actually like vibrates your brain is what I think that is doing. And I think it's super important and that um, posture, that exercise, is not in those newer series, um, which I think is kind of weird. And I think it's kind of important, too.